So, you've got a ton of music on your computer and you want to know how to access it from your iOS device. Let me teach you how to do that. Alright, so now that my computer is on, I'm going to teach you how to view whatever music you have in iTunes on your iPad. So I hope you understand that. What I mean is, let's say you have 2 gigabytes of music on your computer in iTunes and you want to listen to it on your iPad, then basically I'm going to teach you how to access this music from your iPad. So, let's get started. First thing you want to do is, on your computer, open up iTunes. Alright, now that iTunes is open, you want to go to File at the top left, scroll all the way down until you see Home Sharing, and then it will say, Turn on Home Sharing. I want you to click that. Over on the left, you can see your Apple ID, and on the right, it will ask you to enter your password. Now, I want you to enter your password. And once you've done that, I'll come back. Well, once I've done that, I'll come back to you. Okay, so Home Sharing is now on. I'm going to press Done, and you've pretty much done all the hard work. Now, the rest of it is easy. The next thing you need to know for the next two steps is that you're going to need to download an app on your iPad. And another thing that I forgot to mention at the beginning is that your computer and iPad need to be on the same Wi-Fi network. So you can't access your music out of the house. You need to be in the house and your computer and iPad need to be on the same Wi-Fi network. Anyway, let's continue. For the next step, you want to get out your iPad. Okay. So now my iPad is over here and you should be able to see it in, on the screen. So now what I'm going to do is, well, and you need to follow along as well, go to the App Store, alright? Just wait for that to open. Okay, so now my App Store is open, alright? What you want to do is, right at the top, press that, alright, where it says search, and you're going to look for R. E M O T E remote. And then you're gonna press search. Alright? And the first one that comes up should be remote by Apple. So you'll see it over there. Remote by Apple. The first one that you see, that is the one that you want to download. Alright? So you're going to download that and then open it. So I'm gonna press open. And now it should open. I pressed open. Oh, there we go. Alright, so now remote is open. And so, you'll see over there it says Carmel's library. Now that library is actually my iTunes library. The same one that has 2 gigabytes of music in it. That's it right over there. And now you'll see it starts to connect to my library. So you can see it's connecting, connecting, still connecting. Alright, still connecting. And there we go. It's open. Now I'm going to, going to scroll through all of this and you can see there's quite a bit of music here. None of this has been moved onto my iPad. All of this is being transferred over the Wi-Fi network. How cool is that? I don't know. This is just awesome. I mean, all of this stuff, none of it's on my iPad. No permanent damage. It's all being moved over the internet. Alright, so just to show you that it does exist, I mean... I can go to radio at the bottom, there's albums, alright, so if I press albums, you can see all the albums that I have over here. The pictures, as you can see, the pictures are taking a while to come through, that's because it's coming over the Wi-Fi network, but I mean, if you have fast Wi-Fi, then it shouldn't be much of a problem, alright. Go to artists, you can see all of them. Songs, if I open that, you can see there's quite a few songs here, all of these, that's pretty cool. Um, I can also access my videos and other media. So it's not only music, if I go, you press the bottom left where it says Carmel's library, you'll see a whole list of things pops up. So I can press films, and if I press films, you'll see that all the movies that I have in iTunes are actually on here. I can go to TV programs, and I can also see what TV programs are put up. Um, I could go to podcasts, I could listen to all the podcasts that are currently in my iTunes library. So this is just amazing. I mean, I love using this thing. It's awesome. Alright guys. Now, under troubleshooting, basically what it means is you can't get the thing to work. It's not working. So um, here's a few things you could try if remote is not working. The first thing you need to make sure is that your iPad 
and your computer are on the same Wi-Fi network. I mentioned this before. They need to, if they are not on the same Wi-Fi network, if your iPad is on 3G or your computer's not running on Wi-Fi, then you just can't do this, alright? Next thing, iTunes must be open on your computer. You cannot leave iTunes closed. Your computer needs to be switched on with iTunes open. If iTunes is not open, it's not going to work. And the third thing, you need to make sure that remote on your iPad has the latest update and iTunes on your computer has the latest update. If they're not on the latest update, they might work, but sometimes it doesn't work. So just, it's in your best interest to make sure that iTunes on your computer is updated as well as remote on your iPad. And um, if those three things don't work, feel free to comment below and, uh, you know, just ask me for some help. I don't mind helping you. Because um, I know sometimes it can be a bit of a pain to set up. But um, yeah, if you have any questions, just ask me.